remember it was a beautiful day. And uh, we were looking forward to having a good flight and uh, my airplane didn't want to fly anymore. So uh, then I remember being wet for a little while. So uh, well, when you have a problem with an airplane like that, you, you know, after many years of training, you know what to do, right? So, you know, you want to try to go back and land on that runway you just took off on, right? So try to do that and didn't quite have the uh, airspeed or altitude left to do that. And at that point, I'm just looking down at the water and I see all kinds of boats and things out there. So I didn't want to hurt those folks either. So just made a couple of turns and realized uh, the airplane's not going to make it. And so I just pulled the handle and got out. Oh, I remember the whole thing. You know, so I remember the canopy coming off. I saw some daylight and, you know, and again, it was, I was still flying a little bit. So I had my hand on the stick and pulled the handle and saw it all go happen. Yeah. You couldn't, I mean, I, you can't ask for a better, more qualified person to be right there in an ejection scenario than Mac was. I mean, it was, it was, uh, I was the most fortunate person ever. So, you know, I, I, I get out of there and I land on the water and I'm a little pain, you know, and Mac comes up and says, like, hey, you all right, dude? I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. And so I'm just happy to be here, looking forward to, you know, flying again, looking forward to surfing again, playing a little bit of hockey and, uh, hanging out with my beautiful family and, you know, my wife and daughters who've been there and went through this. You know, I know that's not easy for them. And uh, my family back home in different parts of the mainland.